And anybody that's actually read the protocol will recognise that Article 13 says that any subsequent agreement between the Union and the UK shall indicate the parts of the protocol which it supersedes that can be in part or in whole. So it was always the case that the protocol um, was meant to be temporary. Um, the, there's provision there within um, the protocol for it to be replaced. And I think what people have to understand now is that we're facing um, significant challenges as a result of the protocol. As so Agriculture let... Minister, I see time and time again problems that are coming about as a result uh, of this protocol. And it's only going to get worse as uh, at the end of the grace period. So, so tinkering so, with so this Gordon. is not going to fix it. We need fundamental change. My officials have said to me that there's every prospect that at, at the end of the grace period, um, that could overwhelm the capacity of both the control authorities and the supply chains as we attempt to impose an unnecessary re regime in, in this context. It's just not workable. Um, you'll have seen the article in the newsletter this morning as well. It said that 64% uh, of GB retailers plan to stop selling uh, to Northern Ireland by April. So this is very clearly going against what the protocol said that it was all about. On every level, it's not doing what it's meant to do. It's not upholding the Good Friday Agreement, uh, and it is not um, limiting the impact on the lives of, of people here in Northern Ireland. So it really is um, head in the sand at time uh, for the EU and for the government if they think um, that uh, everything is going well with the protocol and a few tweaks are going to sort things out. What's your message my to me the Secretary of State? My message to him is look at the reality on the ground. Look at the level of um, checks and disruptions that are taking place um, from GB to uh, NI. Look at the fact that 64% of retailers today are saying they plan to stop selling to Northern Ireland. And look at the fact that there is a, a high risk um, to our, our food um, supply and making sure that we have um, the choice that we have at the minute at the cost that we have at the minute. And it's not a high risk to our food supply, Minister, is there? there is that there, not over-egging this? A high risk to our food supply? The position of my department uh, is that the risks for Northern Ireland food supply remain high um, and that, therefore, we're going to need permanent solutions uh, to but when you talk uh, problems. 